Hey guys, I'm just kidding. It's Dakota here from ASI Network, and today I will be showing you how to fix a, a little error that I've ran into. If you don't know, which you should by now, I'm a big fan of the game Minecraft. But, Minecraft has decided to crap out on my computer and give me... Oh, I guess I can just shut that down now. And it likes to give me the fatal Java error. Hold on one second. Uh, failed to start virtual machine is what it liked to give me. Now, it doesn't give it to me anymore. Or better not give it to me anymore because we're going to have an issue if it does. Okay, so it doesn't give it to me. Reality now available. Awesomeness. Don't care. Um, hmm. Okay. So, it doesn't give it to me anymore because I have fixed it. Now, this problem is mainly ran into on 64-bit computers like my own. Now, I run Windows operating system, but I don't like the way Windows looks, so I changed it a little bit. But it's still Windows, nevertheless. The way that I have found to personally fix it is I have uninstalled Java and reinstalled it, I don't know, four or five times. But this error seems to happen every time that I install Java or a Flash update. And so I would have to go in, uninstall Java, reinstall it. The way that I have found that fixes it is by coming to this page right here. And I will have a link in the description so that you people don't have to type it in. Going to this page right here, java.com slash, yeah. So yeah. Now, which should I choose? Okay. It, it doesn't take a genius. I mean, for the love of God, just, just go into your computer. Go down to properties. And it will tell you if it's a 32-bit. Okay. Okay. If it's 32-bit, you get 32-bit. Most of the time, this is an error for 64-bit computers because it automatically downloads the 32-bit just in case because 32-bit or, or 64 is supposed to be able to run both 32 and 64, but it doesn't like to. So what you shall do is you shall not scroll down the page. You will focus right here. Windows Offline 64-bit. That way you're not having to focus on the online. Download software for Windows 64-bit. Yes, now it is a safe download. It does come from Java and Oracle, so don't worry. I mean, it's it's not filled with hacks by those hack zores that know how to use CMD. No. Um, yeah, they're not really hackers. That was facetious. But still, that's really all you have to do is run it and install it. It fixed my error right up. Now, if it doesn't fix your error, be sure you comment in my video, in, uh, not in my video, I guess down in the comments because you can't comment in my video. Comment down in the comments, tell me if you're still getting the same error and I will again search for more solutions and get back to you with it. Sorry it's been such a while since I released one. I am currently working on a series of HTML tutorials for those who want to get started as web as a web developer. Uh, it might take me a little while to continue to upload these, but I should be able to upload them more frequently because I just got a new job as a computer programmer working from home, so I'll be on my PC more often. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, do the YouTube stuff, you know, like, comment. Is there a favorite button? Yeah, I think there's a favorite button. Um, be sure you subscribe to my channel. Uh, coming soon is geektech.com. You can check out all these videos on there. More constant tech tips. Um, I think, yeah, we have a Twitter page, Dakota's Tech Tips on Twitter. Find us on Facebook. I'll, I'll just put some links in the description. You don't have to click them. Just thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you later.